This is Andy the Goose who wore Nikes. In 1987, he was born on a farm in Harvard, Nebraska without feet. When Andy was two years old, Gene Fleming, who was a local inventor and member of a charity for children with disabilities, heard about Andy and thought he might be able to help. Andy and his mate Polly moved in with Gene, who quickly got to work to try to give Andy more mobility. After many failed attempts, Gene fitted Andy with specially adapted baby shoes and successfully taught him how to walk. Andy then began to get a lot of media attention, and Nike even offered him a lifetime supply of shoes. And there he is wearing his Nikes. Andy and Gene even appeared on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, and Andy became a role model for children with disabilities. With his shoes, he was able to walk, swim, and fly, and Gene hoped that Andy would give hope to people with disabilities. And here he is visiting with some of his fans. Sadly, on October 19, 1991, Andy disappeared, and the next day, Gene received the call that every goose owner fears. Andy was found dead in a local park. A reward of $10,000 was offered to find Andy's killer, but efforts were fruitless. The police eventually identified the killer, but did not release their identity to the public, only cryptically stating that it was someone who was not responsible. Jean's granddaughter Jessica is working on a documentary about Andy's life and death and hopes to eventually get closure for her family. She said that Andy was very sweet-natured and just literally a nice bird. An incredibly sad end for an amazing goose.